members of parliament from the National Government Constituencies Development Fund, famously known as the NGCDF committee, are now warning that the project to roll out 1,450 digital hubs in each ward across the country is at risk of being hampered by procedural gaps arising from delayed finalization of policy guidelines for the project rollout. As Collins with Kessa reports tonight, the NGCDF committee noted that the guidelines were crucial before pumping funds into the kitty. The members of parliament from the National Government Constituency Development Fund, NGCDF, while meeting with officials from the Ministry of Information, Communication and Digital Economy, have raised concerns over pending challenges in the implementation of the rollout of 1,450 digital hubs in each ward. The teams met to discuss gaps on draft guidelines on rollout of the digital hubs. Led by committee chairperson and Eldama Raven MP, Honorable Musa Sima, noted that time is running out as the youth are awaiting on the constituency to get down to work. From implementing until handing over to ICT. ICT can decide to do what they want to do, to either to equip or just, uh, uh, or just give it. Uh, that way, but we shall have done our part. What we want is you to facilitate us to make sure that we are doing the right thing by creating uh, that hub. Bonto MP Gideon Ochanda called on the ICT ministry to take advantage of solar energy in the sub-counties that are not yet powered in order to achieve standardization. But the most critical need is the element of solar. So, uh, can, can we have, in terms of the physics that we are looking at, uh, we do a provision for solar, particularly in some of our, our more solarized places. Yeah? The assistant director for ICT confirmed that the ministry is working to equip the digital hubs with internet connectivity and added that Kenya Power is in the final stages of doing the surveys and deployment of the manpower to enable connectivity. Which is actually discussing last night connectivity. So that is already in place. Maybe that will take because much of it, the surveys, the designs have already been done. Much of it now is just deployment. So we are going to light up the Kenya power fiber and there's also discussion of taking advantage of the Kenya fiber. This is a follow-up meeting after an earlier engagement with the ICT ministry team and the NGCDF board in July that highlighted key legal and logistical rollout gaps in the initial draft of the guidelines. Collins Wekesa, KU24.